Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. So, Virgo, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to get through my normal intro. Feel free to fast forward. This is Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, and is always welcome to my cross watchers. And cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo, and the message could be for you directly. So feel free to take it however it resonates to you and your situation. Um, interesting. Yep. <sighs> Why do I always do this? Uh, keep in mind, these are general messages. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not for you. So yeah, that's perfect. Um, if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you, thank you to those who have been liking, subscribing, and thank you to those who have made donations. I appreciate it so, so, so much. So, um, <laughs> Virgo, what I'm kind of getting, because we've got first out the bat. Did I say that right? Yeah, out the gate, maybe? <laughs> we've got rest. Okay, I know nobody really wants to hear that, but I think that your guides are kind of coming in that um, maybe you've been pushing it too hard, and you're going to see that, Virgo, like, if you push it too much, you're going to get to a point of, where the universe is almost going to come in and force you to rest by sometimes that can even come up with like a physical manifestation, right? An illness or a disease or just some type of burnout. So, and I want to say it's coming in with a specific person because I've got like, uh, and that's what I'm going to pull out in the extended because that's what I was getting in the pre-shuffle. So for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with someone in your environment that may be pushing you, okay? And I feel like um, this could be emotionally, physically, mentally, however it applies for you guys, but there's just someone in your environment that's really pushing some boundaries with you. And that's why it's kind of meaning like you really need to disconnect, like pull back your energy. And I'm seeing a couple different things with the rest. So let me pull out... Oof. Yeah, let me pull these cards. Let's see who you're dealing with. Okay, so we've got the world card. So there you are. There's there's going to be a chapter closing. So I think what's happening, Virgo, is you're almost being guided right now to really like take a little bit of time to rest because you're going to be closing out something big. And with that world card, if you're closing something, obviously you're stepping into a new beginning. So it's almost like you need to prepare yourself. You need to rejuvenate yourself. I think for some of you, you're having to kind of up level in some place in your life. Like you're moving to the next phase of whatever it is. Like if this is moving somewhere different or getting a different job, or maybe even for some of you, if you're entrepreneurs, maybe we've got the magician so maybe for some of you uh you're moving up and you're actually having to pull back at the same time which might feel kind of counterintuitive because maybe you're starting to feel things rev up virgo like maybe because that's what i've been getting with the energy lately is things are starting to flow like abundance is coming in manifestations are happening like instantaneously and so virgo it, it that is why the recommendation is coming in because if you're going to burn yourself out then you're also going to holographically create that in your situations right this whole matrix thing this 3d reality when you push yourself to a point and give way too much energy then you're going to get that in return and i'm saying that also from personal experience in fact i am going to say this freaking I always have to learn this with the channel and that's when I know when I'm being pushed to the next phase of what I'm supposed to be doing because you guys, <laughs> and I'm not saying this to you specifically, but a lot of people email me that are just pissed off and that's when I know I'm like, yep, they're totally reflecting me and that I need to like step it up. You know what I mean? So... Uh, this is perfect. Okay. <laughs> We've got the judgment card. So this is, what did I say? Healing, rest, new ambition in person or purpose and an awakening. So that's what I'm saying. Um, Virgo, 
there's there's something when it comes to whatever you're working on in your life and i do want to say it's a it's something that you're manifesting in your life whether this could be for some of you relationship but it feels a little bit bigger just because of that judgment card it feels like about new ambition and purpose and that's what it's inspiring within you so you really need to take that time to rest okay um really rejuvenate yourself take some time to heal because this next phase you're going to be jumping into is going to be boom fast moving and that's why i was saying whatever you're putting out there right now if it's some burnout if it's something like you've got to be very conscious of this because right now we are in a phase of just it the manifestations are coming faster and you guys will start to see that like oh man so really when it comes to your process of healing rest your diet all of that stuff i know nobody wants to hear about that like when we talk about diet and exercise it's like yeah 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 i know i need to do that no virgo like that needs to be a part of your self mastery and process because if you're if you have that dialed in then you won't need to rest you know, you guys might actually have been caught up in a cycle where you were doing things kind of opposite. You were like um, working, working, working and working too hard. And you were just working on the details outside of yourself rather than going within and becoming stable inside of you, like really setting up a stable day to day process, like a morning routine, like meditation, eating right, um, going and exercising, like those type of things. If you are not stable and centered within yourself, you are going to get to this moment where you have to rest because you're just working outside of you rather than being stable and high vibe within. And then everything becomes easy to manage outside of you. Does that make sense? Because everything's going to reflect what's going on within you. That's what I'm getting for this message. And so here we've got the queen of wands. I think there's a couple things I'm picking out here. For some of you, it could be an actual fire sign in your environment, an Aries Leo Sag that you're dealing with that, and don't get caught up on the gender. This could be male or female that might be pushing you, okay? Sometimes, like, I love fire signs, but sometimes they can be very pushy, okay? They can be very, like, maybe demanding, and especially if for some of you this is a spouse or a boss where they just keep coming in and putting more demands on you of like, okay, this is, this is what's next Virgo. Like, this is what we need you to do and that type of thing. And it's just like, it's pulling you maybe away from your goals and your purpose because of that judgment card, it's pulling you away from what you're meant to be doing Virgo. So that's where I feel like you really do need to take some time to rest and rejuvenate. There's your energy. I love this card. Okay. Virgo, I think what's happening, because look, we've got, that is your card because it's the earth element. And that is always what I associate. I either associate wolves or like elk and deer with Virgo. I don't know why, but that's just how it goes in my mind. And I think that's kind of what happening, what's happening. The deer, um what's kind of popping out to me I don't know why but this is like kind of doe eyes for some reason like a deer in headlights that's kind of popping out to me right now um but the deer the deer totem in and of itself is a very graceful energy it's it's like I think what's gonna happen Virgo is you're gonna find a really graceful way of kind of maneuvering yourself out of a situation that you're in and I think that you're gonna find a really kind of like smooth way to deal with this person like and I think and do you know what's interesting the way you're coming across I don't know why this is popping out but I think that you have some type of unique ability to where you can pick up things on people right this is the unicorn this is the ethers but i feel like you have some type of ability to pick up something within other people like you can maybe read something about them or just um you really know how to be a little bit of a magician when it comes to talking to people and maybe just because of this whole entanglement the magician and the queen of wands maybe virgo you can like sometimes the way that you know how to 
work maybe your magic on people is using a little bit of charisma. Like you know how to kind of use a little bit of that side to yourself to gracefully get through periods. Now I'm not like sensing that it's so much of a shadow thing. To me, it's actually very beneficial to you. It's coming across more as your gift, like that you have this ability to really like be a little bit magical when it comes to people that you're dealing with. And so maybe if Virgo, you're needing to, like I said, if this is a work environment or if this is a spouse or someone in your life, I wanna say that there's someone that you're needing to take a step back from and the way that you're going to do it, like if this is someone that you're worried about, they're going to have a reaction to that, or maybe they come down on you hard with that queen of wands. Um, cause that is more like someone in power, intellect, tenacity, energy, inner strength, generosity, but on the shadow side of this person, they can be narrow minded, impatient, lacking compassion, and really strict like a lot of rules and like, it has to be this way. Okay. That's the way they're coming across. And I think Virgo, like whatever it is, your gift and your ability is going to be the thing that helps you to maneuver through this. That's what I love so much about the deer. Like when the deer gets triggered by fear, um, right? Like you can see how they run away but they have this like really graceful way of jumping out and like really smoothly like dodging things. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm specifically picking up with this. And that's what I think is going to help you to really avoid the burnout. And what did I say about the burnout with that queen of wands? That could also be you, right? All of this entanglement going on. So let's get some more details with the tarot here. Okay, what can we get for Virgo on this? Okay. Virgo. Oh, and do you know what I'm getting to, Virgo? Is like maybe some of you, like I said, you might have, you might know someone who it just has a lot on their plate. They have a lot of responsibilities. And when you're coming in to like their environment, it's almost even overwhelming you. You're taking on a quite a bit of their energy as well. And it's just like starting to affect you to the point where you have to pull yourself back. That rest card is coming out in so many different ways where you're having to just like pull back. That queen of cups wanted to keep jumping out. So I think that, um, isn't that interesting? Let me get a couple more cards to kind of clarify that. Hold on, Virgo. You know what I'm getting is that that's kind of the rest of kind of catering to your emotions right now. Like what you need to do to make yourself happy right now. Because like I'm with that world card, Virgo, you're, wow, that popped right out. That was kind of crazy. You're putting a really big completion to something previous in your life like a huge and that's why you really need to pull back right now with your energy and really take care of what like what makes you happy right now be realistic about that do you need space do you need alone time do you need to like go uh shop for good food do you know what i'm saying like you really need to be sit down and say what do i need to do to take care of my my emotions what makes me happy and because this next phase, I'm telling you, you're manifesting something really big. Wow, look, we've got the king of wands. Holy effing crap. Virgo, this is a relationship. So it, and I'm going to throw this out there. So it could be, like I said, an Aries Leo Sag, or now we've got on the table a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. So I think that, dude. There's someone that you're in some type of, of a dynamic with where it feels like a little bit of a, they're just coming down on you with this, like wanting to possess you, control you. It, it, oh, oh, and do you know what I'm seeing too? Oh, this is what I'm getting. The way they're coming across is they, uh, seven of swords, that's, 
lies, deception, sneaky energy. So this person, what they do, they have set themselves up in an environment where they are like whatever the kingpin or the one in charge. And I'm actually getting that they, they thrive off of that a little bit. They might even put themselves in environments where they have the, the sale. Do you know what I'm saying? And they get a little bit of a, like, a, a weird fill me up off of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like almost they get a joy and a kick out of being over people that they perceive to be lower than them. In fact, I even want to blow the, like throw this out there. If you guys have heard of the elitist narcissist, it's someone who it like climbs to the top of corporate ladders, but more than anything to me, it is feeling like a little bit of a boss or if this is a relationship, it's someone that loves to be in power and control. And that's what I'm getting is happening with you, Virgo, is like whoever this is that you're dealing with, you're almost having to pull back from them because it's just becoming so domineering and like overpowering. It's like, holy freaking crap. Yeah, there you are moving away. <laughs> you're going to be moving away from this person and because I think even what they do is that's taking advantage of and I do think Virgo whoever this is they are taking advantage of you they're taking more of your energy and not compensating you in the right way they're just taking taking and you might even be in a, a period of your life where you feel like you kind of have to be in this position you know like whether it's because of your finances or your living situation or just like what you're out doing with your life. There's something where you've almost put yourself in vulnerable situations. Yeah, I'm gonna take those two. You've almost put yourself in situations where there's someone in power and control. And what's happening is they're kind of coming in and just taking way too much. And whenever you see that, I think you're seeing this maybe over and over for some of you this could be a repeated cycle and I'm saying that just because of the wheel of fortune that can be a karmic energy and it's just because like you're coming in as a little bit more passive to me Virgo I, which is really rare it's not very often that I get that but like I said you're giving more than what you're getting back and like I said if this is a work environment you might get other perks, right? Like maybe you get free this and free that and they make it seem like, oh, there's all these benefits. But at the end of the day, you might be going home or going to bed just completely drained. And it's that's where your telltale sign is gonna be on if there's an even energy give and take between the two of you, which I'm getting that there isn't just because of the way this King of Wands is coming across is that they're more taking than giving okay and that's where i think virgo it's pushing you that's why i love this card you're gonna get to this point where you're gonna finally just move away close out a chapter of your life you're done with this and where ultimately you're gonna be stepping into boom boom like this is in the next week or two i want to say that you guys are going to full blown step into your independence, like maybe, and that's why this entanglement was happening in the first place is because, like I said, you're closing out a huge chapter to maybe putting yourself in positions where you do, do you know what I'm saying? Where you give more than you're getting back, where you're at kind of the mercy of people who are in power. And now you're finally closing out that chapter, ending a cycle, and you're fully stepping into your independence. This is someone, I love this card. This is the full-blown minor arcana of the Empress card. So this is why it's probably coming up for you guys in the next week or two to where you're deciding, like, I think you're done with this. Just with that world card, you're closing out this chapter to dealing with these type of people. Because I think you're seeing the same thing over and over again with that Wheel of Fortune. It's just like you keep moving on and then maybe you move into a new situation and it ends up being the same exact thing. And so maybe for some of you, like I always talk about, this is always a reflection of like childhood stuff. You know, like maybe you had a parent or something that was always the say all, like whatever they said was the end all be all. 
And now, Virgo, I think you're completely in the state. That's why you've entangled with a lot of those people is because now you're taking on that energy where now you're going to be stepping into this king or queen of wands energy, fully stepping into your power, your passion, and kind of being the ruler of your own life. So Virgo, I'm going to leave things there and dive into this in the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, definitely feel free. Just go down below in the description box and click on the Vimeo link. And if this is kind of where we leave things, then I am sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.